Hey guys, how we doing? Morning guys, body blast class this morning, beautiful weather outside, I'm quite lucky at the moment I've got some internet connection here and, and the weather's good as well so we'll start the class in a minute. So what do you need? A can of baked beans, <laughs> anything with a bit of weight. If you've got no dumbbells, if you've got no barbells, I'll come on to that. So, a can, cans of something, two of those if you can. A little bit heavier, a little bit lighter, whatever. Different weights even. If you're lucky enough to be able to still have any pasta. Okay, I've got some pasta and the sugar there. For the various exercises you're going to be doing. Even weight plates. I'm, not, I'm purposely not using all the weights that I've got, obviously, because I know that most people won't have them. If you are inside, just be very careful of your surroundings. Um, particularly if you're going overhead. I nearly took out the light bulb yesterday. It just went down really well. Um, the most important bit today for stretching that is some sort of pole or broom. You can either do this for your exercises this morning. Or if you've got a barbell. Um, and if you've got dumbbells, obviously kettlebells, anything you can get hold of really. Um, for those that have done it or do it today and um, or watch the video at a later stage then obviously people will know what they can get hold of for the next session so a bit of trial and error even if you do the exercises just with your body weight only this morning absolutely doesn't matter okay it's just gonna be a good workout so um, it will be Have a look. You want some music, you want a towel, you want some water. It's going to be a five minute warm up, 30 to 35 minutes maximum session, and you're going to have five minute stretches cool down at the end. Okay, so maximum 45 minutes between 40 and 45 minutes. But we're going to try and start, start on time. People can join us as required. So, uh, Welcome to everybody who's on here. I'm Graham from Mission Fitness UK. Please, please, please try and pass this around to everybody. Share it as much as you can so we can keep everybody as fit and healthy as possible. Okay, guys? So I hope you enjoy it. Again, as much feedback as possible. Um, or we'll just continue as we are at the moment next week. We've got some ideas of a legs, tums and bums class with Hayley next week as well. Um, either on the Monday or Wednesday, but let you know. we'll let you know. So, without further ado, we got a few people on. So, good morning, Kim. Good morning, Jane. Everybody else. Um, let's say you can watch the videos later. Um, the only thing I can say on this is I, I can't actually see you all, obviously. Um, we can do video conferencing separately for individuals or group. And if anybody's interested in any one to one personal training online or semi private group ones, um, we can do that as well and uh, we can just you know just get in touch with us okay we're gonna make a start then so 10 o'clock we're gonna start off with some stretches okay so we're gonna start off with the hip flexor stretch so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go into a lunge position and back up again okay squeeze down if anybody can't hear me at any stage please stop your session for a second come up on the comments guys okay hopefully it's clear enough for you. Make sure you've got some music. Change legs. 
Okay, squeeze right down, get that hip flexor nice and warmed up, get those legs warmed up. Do five on each leg. Stay in that position there now. I want you to just tip down to one side and the other. So we're just rotating the hips, doing a bit of mobilization, okay? I've got some music on as well that I can listen to because it will help during the workout. Change legs. Down to the side again. Good little mobiliser of the hips. Okay, what you can do now is let your hands go loose and just rotate round from the side, across the other side, okay? Side to side. Change legs. Opposite leg forward, hopefully everybody can see me okay. Good morning everybody, lovely weather. If you have to do it inside, just make sure you've got plenty of space and ventilation. Keep your safe distances as required. Good. What we're going to do now are some side bends, okay? So shoulder width apart with your legs. Just reach down slowly, hold it for a second, down to the opposite side. That's good. Well done. Nice and steady. Trying to keep, try not to rotate as you do it. Good. So hopefully you've got a broom, a pole, a barbell or something. Okay. Put it onto your back like this, top of the back not on the neck. What you do now is just twist round, okay? Follow it all the way round, allow your hips to move with you, just doing a bit of mobility work, okay? Just try and focus on using the upper body when you're doing it. Good. And now what we're going to do, you can either just do it with your arms, you're going to come down, up, in and out, or you can use weights or your cans of baked beans, whatever you got, or pasta. So from here, come all the way down, all the way up, in and out. Just gonna warm up those shoulder muscles, which we're gonna be using quite a lot today. We're gonna do an all over body workout, okay? You just work as hard as you can. If you need to change, or if you can change your weight or piece of kit, I'll show you alternatives as we go through, then do that. But I can't see you as I say, so anything's done at your own risk today, guys, okay? But enjoy. So, we're going to start off. Now, I've also got a backpack with some weight in as an alternative. Because, as I say, I didn't want to bring my heavy barbells or anything, so I've got a light barbell. So, we're going to do some squats to start off with, okay? So, from this position here, I'll show you in a moment, but you're going to be doing squats, okay? You could also, if you've got dumbbells, just hold the dumbbells in your hand and do the squats that way, okay? Every exercise we do, think about that as we move forward. So if you haven't got a broom or if you want to use a broom, fine. If you want to use your cans of sugar, pasta, beans or whatever, use those. Alternatively, I'm going to be using, and I'll demonstrate, some weight like this as well so you can still do your squats like this and do my overhead press like this okay hopefully you're all happy with that okay so we're going to make a start that's five minutes we've got a 30 minute workout now and then a good five minutes at the end guys enjoy as i mentioned we're going to start off with our squats but i just want you to do a little bit of leg work so leg out to the side if you need to hold on to a wall if you're near a wall just be careful, just move it out to the side, a bit of mobility, change legs to the other side, cross the body out to the other side. This time you're just going to come through, just bend the leg back, up, through and back. Change legs, through, back, through, slight bend as you come back. Okay, get your weights ready guys, whatever you're going to use, we're going to start off with the squats, okay? You're going to be doing sets of 10, so in your own time. I've got my music going, hopefully you've got your music going because it's better to do it to the rhythm. I'll start off with this on the back, okay? Normal, um, normal width on your squats, so shoulder width apart. You're going to come down, squeeze off, um, squeeze your glutes, push off the heels looking forward, okay? So that's your exercise from there to there. Just gonna make sure my piece of paper doesn't blow away. 
and we'll make a start. So, 10 repetitions with me stand by. This is it, let's get going. Enjoy the session. Three, two, one. Down, up, two, three. All the way down, looking forward all the time. Pushing off the heels, squeeze the glutes, use those glutes. Seven, obviously you go at your own time when you get to 10 and you stop. Okay, this time I want you to take your feet out a little bit wider so you've got a nice wide stance now. Slightly wider than the shoulder width apart. Gonna use the inside of your legs a bit more this time. Again, if you can't hear me guys or see me, please, please, please let me know. Stand by, three, two, one. Down, one, down, two. Nice rhythm, squeeze from the glutes, save the back as much as you can. Pushing off the heels, six, seven, eight. Feel that on the inside of the leg? 10, good, shake the legs off a bit. This time you're gonna go narrow. So, bring your feet in about hip width apart. Slightly um, less than shoulder width apart. Then you're gonna come down and up again. I'll show you from the side, because this time, your backside will come out a little bit, okay? Work on those quads a bit more this time. Stand by, three, two, one. Down, one, down, two. So if you haven't got a bar, a broom, you can be using your dumbbells, okay guys? Use your beans, use your pasta if you've got any, whatever you've got left, use it, okay? One more, that's 10. Okay, what you can do now is offset one of your legs. What I mean is just bring one leg behind slightly, okay? Because we don't always do things in life in a natural form. So this is good for normal daily lifestyle. So you're gonna do a normal squat, but you've bent, you brought one leg back behind slightly. It feels a bit weird, okay? We do 10 on each leg, stand by. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. It's quite good of you as well, if you've got like a slightly weaker leg, just try and work the muscles on that a bit. Eight, nine, 10. Change legs, bring the other leg back slightly. Three, two, one. Hope you've got some good music going there. It gives you a bit more motivation and rhythm as you're doing the exercise. Two more and rest there. Good. Okay, obviously as we're doing the, the uh, session guys, you can take your water on as you need, but we will have times where you get a bit more opportunity as I explain the next bit. Okay, so we're carrying on with legs for a bit longer. This time, I think Ben did a very similar one on his um, video the other day. You do a pulse squat. So I'll show you from the side first. You start in the half squat position. That's not all the way down and it's not all the way up. It's halfway down, okay? Now what you can do in the pulse, you just drop down as far as you can to halfway, okay? So it's a small movement like this. One, two, three, four, okay? I'll show you again. Half squat position, drop, two, three, four. That's gonna burn the legs. We're doing three sets of 10 of these, okay? Stand by and enjoy. Half squat position, three, two, one, go. Down, two, three, Small movements, not all the way up. Seven, I can see you, Chris, come on. Good, 10, rest. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, rest. And let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hopefully, those legs are burning a bit now, yeah? Okay, I'm just gonna change my piece of kit. So you can see alternatives, and you try whatever you want on the next one. So we're starting off with normal squats again, okay? 10 repetitions, stand by, three, two, one. Down, one, down, two. In your own time, obviously, I can't see you. I can't see your form. Just keep working, we're burning those legs. Always pushing off the heels, squeezing from the glutes. One more, 10, okay. Not normal this time, normal ones, three, two, one. If you did wide last time, normal. If you did normal, do wide. Four, five. See how you can just use a little bit of weight. This is safe, nice and easy to use. Get a bit more resistance, 10. Good. 
Next one we're gonna do is narrow. Stand by. Back hip width apart. Three, two, one. Down, one. Down, two, three, four. So it's now warm you can get, isn't it? Especially if you're inside. I'm outside. It was a bit cool when I started. One more. Ten. Good. Well done, guys. Last one, pulse. I'll show you from the side. Say half squat and down, okay? Stand by. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Really small movements. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. Not bad, five minutes work. Loads of time to go. Hopefully those legs are nice and warmed up now. The glutes are active. Big compound moves, which are really good for you, okay? Always adapt the exercise if you can't do it exactly as I'm doing it. Everybody okay so far? Seems to be going well. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, guy, one of my favorites, is called around the world or around the clock lunges. Okay, so again, with the bag, with your dumbbells or a bar, you're gonna come forward with single leg, lunge and back. Alternate the leg forward and back. You're then gonna to go to your right or left and back. Backwards and backwards. Then to your right. Okay, that is around the clock. I'll talk you through it. I can't see if you're doing it right or not. This is where we see who's got coordination or not. Good little lunge one, you don't need a lot of weight for this. We're gonna do five full circles all around the worlds in each direction. Okay guys? In each direction. Good, thank you for the comments guys. Stand by then, three, two, one. So forward lunge and back, change legs, forward. To your left, all the way down. Backwards, make sure you've got enough room. Rearward lunge, change legs. And to your right, that's one. Forwards, change leg. Good, to your left. It doesn't matter if you do it in the opposite direction, as long as you get the gist. Backwards, backwards, change leg. Good, forwards. It's the third one. Change legs, to your left. Good, rear lunge. Change opposite leg. If you've got a couple of people in the house, I'd imagine it's a bit cramped for space. Caroline, David, Chris, Aisha, whoever else is out there. All right, let's make this the last one on this side. All the way back, change legs. All the way back, change legs. It makes it so much easier for me, to be fair, having music in my ears. It really does. Okay? So, I'm going to do it in my bag this time, just to show you, you can alternate. You can even wear it as a backpack. This time we're going to go start in the opposite direction after we go forward, okay? Stand by. Three, two, one. Forward, change legs. Forward, to your right. And backwards. Change leg, rear lunge. To your left. Good, that's one. Forward, change legs. To your right. Backwards. Good, change legs. Doing really well. Obviously you can make this exercise forwards as hard or as easy as you want by having no weight backwards or increasing the weight. We'll do one more forwards, change in your own time if you're not in time with me that's good. Backwards, change legs. We've done this in Body Blast Caroline haven't we? A few times and good work. So if you've got different weight plates, use those, okay? Grab some water if you need it. Okay, grab some water if you need it. Okay, we're gonna finish off with, not finish the session, no, just this, pit, this little bit of legs by one of our favorites in the gym, certainly Ben's, he's very good at this with a lot of weight. It's called a lunge and pulse or a Bulgarian split squat. So if you've done it, you can thank us for this. So you bring one leg forward and you pulse down. Okay, so one, two, three. And then we'll change legs. One, two, three, okay? The idea of this is to get the form, not hurt yourself. Nice bit of speed in it. Fluidity, I think, is what Ben used. 
Okay, stand by. We do 10 on each leg, starting in the up position. Are you ready? Good. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Obviously harder, the more weight you've got on this. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Change legs. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All good? Excellent. Stand by, you do 20 this time. Yep. I can't normally count to 20, but let's give it a go, shall we? Three, two, one. One, two. Again, do it in your own time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Keep safe, guys. Keep fit. Share mission fitness. One two, three, four, and last one, 20 reps. Give it a shake off so you're ready. Stand by. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, if you want to do any additional weight work, gardening, anything else, it's time to do it, isn't it? Three, four, five, six, four to go. Two to go, and rest. Rest there, grab some water. This is not rum, honestly. Apparently it's good for viruses, but this is water. Just shake those legs off. Everybody okay so far? Now my brain hurts, yeah, I thought it would. That definitely needed a bit of coordination there, guys. Sorry about that. Don't worry, it gets easier, honest. Okay, check your surroundings, guys. If you're inside, make sure you've got nothing above you. You're not gonna hit anything. Take the lights out like I nearly did the other day, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'll show you the exercises first. So you're gonna do from here, shoulder it for part of the legs, slight bend the knees, using the upper body only, you come up and slightly behind the head or in line with the head, not forward, okay? So overhead press, down, all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna do three sets of 10 of those. Afterwards, just so you're aware, you're gonna do front raise. So you can change the weights or piece of kit as required, okay? Just shoulder height only. The last one we're gonna do is thumbs together for the distance, or if you've got dumbbells, dumbbells together, just come up as high as you can with the arms, upright row, okay guys? Three, shoulder, exercises okay I'm gonna start off with my backpack so I can do a bit of an upper body workout so I need one at the moment not just for sanity okay stand by three sets of ten three two one use the upper body only two three you might be going quicker if you've got a lighter weight don't worry five six seven eight nine ten quick rest do the same again keep the slight bend in the knee but use just the upper body three two one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good Oh, I'm in the garden. <laughs> okay, last set. Three, two, one. One, two. If your barbell or bar's too light and you've got some weights you can use, use them. That's 10, good work. Okay, next one. Front raise is actually a very hard one. If you are using like weight plates or something quite heavy. So just bear that in mind next time. Okay, so we're doing the front raise next. I'll try to with this. So it'll be from there to there, okay? Shoulder height only, not higher. Stand by. Three, two, one. Up, down. Brace the core, okay? Try not to use the body for momentum, just using the arms. Breathe in before you do it, breathe out as you come up. Six, 
seven, eight. No doubt loads of people are ahead of me. Depends on what weight you've got, what piece of kit you've got. That's 10, good. Okay, next set. Stand by, I'm showing you with plates now. Three, two, one. One, two. Just go to sh shoulder height. That way it really isolates the shoulders, not the back. We'll be doing back later. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, that's ten. Again, as I say, you can use your cans of beans or whatever, soup, pasta, whatever. Stand by, third one. Three, two, one. One, down, two. I'm doing it a lot quicker this time because it's a nice light bar. Seven, still a good exercise though. Hopefully some of you working a bit harder, you're gonna feel that in the shoulders, aren't you? And one more for luck and rest. Good work guys. Okay, next one is gonna be an upright row. Thumbs together for the distance or dumbbells touching or whatever you've got in your hands. And then you bring your elbows up as high as possible, keeping it close to the body, okay? I'm going to try and use this one, might be a bit difficult. Stand by. Three, two, one. One, down. Two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven. All my neighbours are probably looking at me going, what is that weirdo doing there? Eight. Don't, don't, don't agree with them. One more. Ten. Quick rest. Good workout guys, We're doing this at seven o'clock tonight as well. Same again. Three, two, one, one, two, three. See how I can go up a lot higher with my elbows now and keep it close to the body because I've got a nice easy barbell to use. One more, 10. I'll show you the last one with my weights. Could be sugar, could be pasta, could be plates. Close together, three. Two, one, one, two. Really working those deltoids, the front of the shoulders there. Four, five. Keep the form, rest if you need to. Work as hard as you can, guys. Doing really well. One more, everywhere, or whatever, if you finished already, well done. If you haven't finished, keep going. Good work. Okay, this one's for Kim. Because we're now going to do um, a little bit of um, combination work. So you do need the brains a little bit. Kim, you have got a brain, didn't mean that, but you said your coordination wasn't very good, just to explain. So you want, you want a heavier weight if you can. This is certainly heavier for me. You're going to do two exercises. I'll show you from the side. The first one is a deadlift. So with a deadlift, you keep a nice strong back, tense your abs, looking forward, you just bend down. Bend your knees, okay? And then you just use the lower body to lift that weight up, okay? Always strong back. You can do five of those, okay? Five of those. Then you're gonna do a bent over row. So keeping the elbows in tight, in towards the abs or in towards the stomach, okay? That's your second exercise. Five at a time, okay? But we're obviously gonna do that three times. So listening to me, watch me, and we'll get there. Okay, so deadlift first, five and five, okay? First one, you might get confused. So start from here, three, two, one. One, down, two, three. Raise those abs at about 50%, keep breathing, five. And bent over row, one. Elbows in tight, three, four, five. And again, one, two. So we lose, getting that back nice and strong now. Five, bend down, one. Hopefully the neighbors haven't got too bad of you with me here. <laughs> Hopefully not looking out the window. One more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Good, doing well. Got a few minutes to go. 
still got a little while to go yet well done hopefully you enjoyed that one so again you can do that with the, the barbell yeah barbell or you can do it with your weights or your cans okay so next time we do body blast next week you got a good idea of what to do but i will change the exercises stand by second set three two one down and up bend the knees keep that nice strong back three four five under control all the time not too fast squeeze the glutes always helps as well eight nine i can't always count military counting ten ten that time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and rest quick shake off last one on that one we do it for 20 20 deadlifts 20 bent over rows okay stand by everywhere 20 reps three two one down one bit of endurance is always good for the back the best thing for the back is endurance four that's how you get a stronger back six seven if you've got heavy weight sorry about that <laughs> just change your weight if you need to don't get hurt we've got loads to go every week we don't know how long we're going to be here we want to keep exercising i'm on 14 15 16 17 18 this is good when you get a backpack like this or something like this because you can change the weight if it's too heavy all right i can just take some weight out of here why shopping <laughs> right 20 rows let's go three two one one two three four five six elbows in tight notice i'm not using my body 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 good work well done Woo. okay last combination we're going to do going well with time 10 10 10 28 is a shoulder press or overhead press followed by a bicep curl so you want to have an underhand grip guys not a conventional overhand grip so like this and again if you've got a pack or if you've got some weights what you're going to do is start from here into an overhead press so the difference is i've got an underhand grip can you see that so you do one two three and then the second part is a bicep curl all the way up and all the way down that's the combo start off with five on each one okay good i'll start with the barbell first are you ready no comments good <laughs> that wasn't a romanian deadlift by the way kim that was a normal deadlift you should have been bending your knees on that one remember for next time bent knees not straight leg deadlift i didn't say romanian deadlift okay three two one one two Three, four, five. Bicep curl, all the way up, all the way down, touch the legs. Two, either with your dumbbells, your pasta, your cans. One more, five, good. I'm just gonna change on to good old backpack. Okay, sound like Dora, don't I? Stand by, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight two more nine ten and it's a bicep curl one two see how you can improvise four five keep working guys doing really well if nothing else the back of my head's getting a tan and ten good work well done I may as well bring the pasta into you, Sam and I, eh? Oh, yeah, I've got pasta. I don't know how, that was ages ago. Okay, same again. Underhand grip. Three, two, one. 20 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you've got a heavy weight, sorry about that. Change it if you need to. Keep going. 13, 14, 15. 16 17 it's the last combo got a nice little finisher for you okay we're gonna go to bicep curls okay 
three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Elbows in tight, all the way up, all the way down. Don't use the body. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I can count to 20. Well done. Well done, guys. Hope you're enjoying these. Yep, good. Okay, my little finisher then, guys. My little uh, thank you for doing the session for me, or if you're going to do it again, is talk core 21s, okay? Now, the thing with 21s is you have to do 21 repetitions, but you do three times seven. So with a front raise, which is what we're going to do, you're only going to come halfway up, okay, to the waist and down, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down, seven times. You're then going to come from the shoulders just halfway down to the waist. Don't go too high, okay? One, two, three, small moves. Then you're going to come all the way up, all the way down. Okay, fairly straightforward. No comments there? Yeah. Good. Okay, listen to me then. Let's enjoy the 21, especially if you've got heavy weight. Three, two, one. Halfway up. Two, three. Touch the thighs. Five, six, seven. Halfway down, shoulders to the waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way up to the shoulders and all the way back down to the thighs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. That's it. So that was too easy. You're going to grab some more weight. Have you okay so far? <laughs> you remember 21's good. Yeah, if you've got the right weight, it's horrible, isn't it? I'm going to try with this one. Keep your own time in. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Mine's going to be a bit slower now because I'm using the backpack. Same principle, seven. Halfway down, one, two. That's where it's hard. Three, four. It's all in the weight. Five, keep the technique. Six, don't use the body, just the arms only. All the way up, all the way down. Shoulder height only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good work. Very good work. Last one on that one. We're nearly there. Actually, we're going to go on to my last one. We've got one minute left. Then we're going into stretches. Okay, so 40 minute session. Perfect. You're gonna do bicep curls, guys, with whatever you've got. Barbell, halfway up again, 90 degrees, back down. Halfway up only, all the way down. You're then gonna come from here to 90 degrees, all the way up to halfway down. Last one, you go all the way up and all the way down. This is a really good one, actually. If you want to, you can do hammer curls, which is just neutral grip. Everybody ready? Everybody ready, good. Stand by. Halfway up first. Three, two, one, one, two. Not too high, remember, but all the way down. Five, little move, six, seven. If you've got the right weight, it really is hard. All, halfway down, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good one, actually. All the way up and all the way down. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Great work, great work. So I'm gonna use the uh, barbell for the last one, okay? Barbell for the last one. Same principle. Three, two, one, one, two. See how quick it is, light. Five, six, seven. I might have to wait for you now. <laughs> Halfway down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up, all the way down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I've got a nice little uh, ender for you, I always promise an extra one, don't I? We're going to do squats, 21s, I love these. So. 
I'm crazy, I know. So, you're gonna start off, you're gonna do halfway down, very small moves, like pulses all the time, yeah? You're then gonna go from all the way down to halfway up. It's more pulses, but you're going from down to up. And then you're gonna go all the way up and all the way down, okay? Well, it's a good one to finish off on. Last exercise, guys, this morning, then we've got some stretches. Halfway down, yeah? Small moves, make sure you don't go all the way down, but you come all the way up. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way down, halfway up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way down and all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time, halfway down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halfway up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way down, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And finito, finito, banana. For any of my Italian friends out there. Well done guys, well done guys, well done guys, well done. Okay, get some water. Do some stretches now. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay. Hopefully you can all see me. I'm a bit too close there, aren't I? But there we go. Let's move that back a bit. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can see me enough. Okay, first one you're gonna do is bring your left leg or right leg over the right, left over the right, bring your left hand through, clasp the hands together, make sure your neck is now on the floor, and you just slightly squeeze, just bring that leg up slightly towards your chest. Okay, so what you're doing now is you are stretching off a nice glute, deep muscle called the piriformis there, and we're holding the stretch for 20 seconds, okay? 20 seconds, make sure it's comfortable, shouldn't hurt, no neural tension or anything like that, no nerves, no tingling, and release there. I'll just keep chatting so you know something's going on. Change legs. If you can't do it all the way, just try and get what position you can. Hands through. If it's too uncomfortable, you might have to think about using a resistance band or something, or just pulling a little bit onto the leg, okay? If you can't, get your hands through the legs there. This, after a lot of leg work, is a godsend it's one i do all the time most of the instructors will do it and i actually tend to do it most days anyway it's just a good one because it can release a lot of neural tension from a sciatic nerve which goes obviously at the back okay next one you're going to lift i'll come back a bit this way you can lift the left leg up keep the arms at 45 degrees again make sure your neck's on the floor you'll have to you look at me first i know rotate the body over as far as you can but you're keeping this shoulder on the floor so my right my left leg is over my left shoulder remains on the floor look over your left shoulder if you can and then push down on your left leg to give it a little bit more of a squeeze down in a way so it just gives you more of a stretch and you should feel that on the outside of your hips and your glutes okay slowly release out of that and we're going to do exactly the same again lift up so you will take the body keep the shoulders on the floor don't lift that right shoulder or whatever shoulder it is. Use your hand, opposite hand there that's off the floor to push and squeeze and stretch down in a way a little bit further. We're holding that one again, roughly 20 seconds. Just come out the stretch slightly if it hurts or if your shoulder's starting to lift off the floor. And slowly release there. Well done guys, doing well. So what you can do now is a hip flexor stretch. So you just get into a lunge position like this, and then you are pushing the hips forward and pushing the leg away, okay? Pushing the hip forward, pushing the leg away. So you can see that's 1041. When, with the sessions like this, and even when, as we start building on the legs, tums and buns and circuits, it's important we use the time to stretch at the end, change legs or mobilize at the beginning etc so push those hips forward and push that leg away slightly you should feel it down 
the opposite side, not this, not my forward leading leg, the leg that's on the floor. From there, you're gonna just come down onto the floor like this. I'll come back a bit. Okay, from here, what you're gonna do is just lift the chest off the floor like that. So you can see you've got a nice bend in the back. Come as far up as you feel comfortable. You can stay down a little bit further with the arms bent as long as you're achieving the aim of a stretch there. You can feel it in the lower back and it's obviously stretching off the abs there as well from Ben's class, I guess, the other day and mine. Right, that's it. Good. So, well done, guys. Um, let's just put this up a bit so you can see better. Okay, give yourselves a clap there. That was an amazing session. 42 minutes, so it's going to be no more than 40, maximum 45 each time. As I say, that's with five minutes warm up, five minutes stretches and cool down. I'm Graham at Mission Fitness UK. Please show it around, keep fit, keep safe. Don't go out visiting people, okay? Let's listen to the government advice. We'll all stay safe and hopefully get back to norm normality then a bit quicker. But any comments, let us know. And I'll be doing this at seven tonight. And uh, there'll be some videos out on Saturday and Sunday for you as well. So no classes at, or sessions live at the moment, but we'll be putting some videos online, okay? Thanks very much, guys. Well done. See you soon.